Hi, I'm Barry. This is Mega City Gaming, and this is D100 Spell, the solo uh, dungeon crawl adventure, kind of like uh, Elite. Elite Dangerous is the the new version of that, kind of like that, or X4 the space game. It's a obviously sci-fi game. I don't have the book yet. It's in the post. It's coming. But because uh, I got the PDF though and I played it yesterday on my own right here. Um, and you generate, you roll a, it's a D100, so you generate, you roll D100s and you generate all kinds of stuff, including uh, the map. So I rolled like one, two, three times on the map and I got these three uh, color coded for various things. We'll get into that a bit later. I, I printed out the character sheet. Um, it's several pages, two pages for the character sheet and another page for combat. Um, because when you complete a combat, let me just do this, there's a combat track. So every time you complete a combat successfully without the bad person or creature running away or escaping, then you, re you win. Uh, whatever it says in the mission plus uh, and whatever it says on the um, enemy thing uh, plus you get this uh, extra stuff it's so tiny I printed this out um, small size because limited table space um, and stuff I also bought some colored pencils and uh, oh, it was just so fun so much fun it really brought me back to um, a long time ago, 80s. And um, my dice. Yeah, I even got a pencil sharpener for the first time since I was a kid. <laughs> oh, crazy times. Dice tray and miniature because I have so many miniatures, I might as well just use one. Just one though, because that's me. Me! Anyway, um, for today's purposes, I'm not going to subject you to watching me colour in. <laughs> Uh, graph paper and stuff like that. I am going to uh, dive into Tabletop Simulator. I, I kind of made a version of it on Tabletop Simulator this morning. The character sheets are not there yet. I have to figure out how to work that out because the the text function in Tabletop type it there. Bleh, bleh. The text function in Tabletop Simulator. It's absolutely terrible. It's really, really bad. Really bad. Everything else is really perfect, but just the text. So I might be, uh, every time I need to write something, I might have to drop out of Tabletop Simulator and go into Photoshop. Uh, might have to do that. Anyway, here it is. So here's the map tiles. Here are the map tiles, yeah, generated by D100. Um, what I love about this book, yeah, I know other videos have done um, of introductions of the book and reviews of the book and stuff like that. Um, I just want to show you a couple of things. So today we're going to create the captain. Um, and we're going to do the first four tutorial missions. Then that's it. I'm not going to do any more for on youtube or anything like that because um play it get it play it it's good and um, I, I got this just for me <laughs> not for you for me um however if we look at something absolutely genius absolute genius um the tables the d100 tables are in alphabetical order and for the most part Yeah, for the most part, they're they're labelled with that corresponding letter. Like, oh, where, where where's the enemy? Oh, it's it's chart E. Where's the uh, powers? It's P. Where's the weapons? It's W. It's pff, genius, absolute genius, genius. And these map tiles are great as well, and they're labelled as well. Um, so the the colour coded map tiles. Yellow is nothing, although you can still search that. 
uh, red is rolling counter. That's, uh, believe it or not, that's chart E. Yeah. Uh, green is roll geographic. Now, is that chart? Let's have a look. Let's look for geographic, which, which should be G. It is G. There we go. Geographic. I haven't done that before, so that was new for me. Blue is objective. Yeah. Let me tell you about my character. Okay, so I've gone through the character gen for a new captain. And uh, yeah, I think the only random thing I rolled was. Eh, what did I roll? Oh, I rolled for the items. That was it. The armor and the uh, weapon. I rolled those on the A and W table. Freaking awesome. Freaking awesome. So who we got? We got uh, Lenny Zero, who is a smuggler and a human. And all of these are fixed. I, I had the option of, it was a 50, 40, 30 split between strength, dex, and int. And I chose uh, 50 int, uh, 40 dex, and 20 strength. And then I got a bunch of bonuses and stuff for being a smuggler and a human. That kind of thing. E and yeah, I got a vibro blade and a plus plate helmet is my armor. Um, fast, a fast attack craft is the starting ship um, for everyone, I think. Uh, first four missions are active. That would be the first four on the um, operations chart. I think we're ready for... Operation number one, which is space travel. It's a space mission. We learn how to travel in space. So at the top, uh, it tells us the S, which is success, and F, which is failure. If we win, we do it successfully. We get 1,000 credits. If we fail, nothing bad happens for this particular mission. Uh, so the details are travel to the art mez system and sell 25 tons of weapon upgrades at Lunis Station, which is in zone 2. And here is the description. The captain has just picked up a consignment of very sensitive goods at the rebel base military port in the Vinwa system, which is where we start off as a new captain. So that's where we are right now and must deliver them to a contact at Lunis Station. Uh, 25 weapons to the cargo hold. Right, what I'm going to do instead of messing about with... Uh, instead of messing about with... Uh, There we go. Instead of messing about with Photoshop, I'm just going to make a note card. A card, note card. Um, right, what was I doing? Add 25 weapons. Oh, weapons, not weapons, parts. Get it right, sir. Get it right. Five weapons. That's in the cargo hold. Right. Uh, sorry for making you feel seasick. The cargo consists of weapon upgrades stolen from the. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, stolen from a support ship by a smuggler that goes by the name Finder Wiseman. The Artemis system is 116 light years away. See the star map. Let's have a look at the star map. We are here on that yellow blob, which is the military base. And it says, it's right, it's 116 away light years away from the Artemis system yeah yeah all right uh sorry you're gonna need to make some jump tests if you fail a jump test ignore any h events okay right let's just do that first let's do that first so uh let's go to 
Sorry, I'm not familiar with this so far. We need to go to traveling within, no, traveling between systems, which is. Moving from system to system, page 25. There we go. Moving from system to system. All right, let's do it. To move from star system to star system, the distance needed to travel is far too great for space crews. And the captain's starship will need to make hyper jumps. Captain will often need to make a number of jump tests. See below. Until they have traveled number of light years needed to reach their intended star system. Each successful test allows the starship to move up to their jump speed in light years. The ship will burn an equal number of fuel as the distance traveled. Fuel spent at the rate of one ton of fuel for every 10 light years or part of. Uh, the ship does not have to travel its jump speed each time a test is made, so I can make a, a short jump. A starship must use the green hyper jump lanes on the star map. Yeah, no problem. If the test fails, the starship will drop out of hyper jump and will have traveled part of the distance. The player rolls on the jump error. Jump error, J to see how far the starship has traveled. And this could also trigger a hyper jump event, which is not gonna happen for this mission. <clears throat> and here's the jump test. <clears throat> Excuse me. Right, it's plus or minus the CM, which is on the character sheet. It's plus 35 should be. There we go. Control modifier, CM. And that is a derived statistics Statistic, which is intelligence minus the tech level of your craft, which uh, can, the tech level can increase, which means the control modifier will decrease. So the more technical your spaceship gets, the more modifiers you put on your spaceship, more, the modifications you put on the spaceship, the more technical it becomes, the harder it is to pilot. So anyway, we've got plus 35 because I put a lot of, I, I maxed out my intelligence. Um, yeah, I chose int, so 50, 40, 30, and I chose int for that. So anyway, 35, 35, so it's plus 35, plus 35. Right, what else, what else? If we had any navigators, they would also help. We don't have any navigators. So plus 35. Um, minus one power level and minus one fuel if it's a success. So we need to test against our intelligence and it's plus 35. So it's intelligence plus 35, which is intelligence. intelligence. 45 plus 35 is, believe it or not, 80. We need to roll under 80 with two dice. Let's have uh, red and blue. Red being tens. I don't have a, a D10 of. I will next time, believe me, but I just wanted to get this started. I'm, I'm very keen to play this, so next time I'll have a D10 with zeros on it. But anyway, so it's red and blue. Red and blue. So let's roll the red and the blue. And we got. Uh, 46, 46, which is a uh, success, success. So that means it's minus one power and minus the number of fuel that we used, which should be uh, jump speed is 60, so six fuel. So minus six fuel, and we just, let me, ah, that's it, I've got tokens for that. Have I? Have I? No, I don't. All right. That's just right in there. All right. Fuel. Uh, 24. 
it was 30, now it's 24. And power, just minus one, so it's 20, again, 24, 24, 24, there you go. Okay, nice, nice. Right, luckily we passed that. We, we're gonna need, so that, that's taken us 60 light years to where we wanna go. 60 light years to where we wanna go. That leaves us uh, 56 light years. Yeah, 56 light years. So we get one more successful jump with there. Let's do that. So again, red and blue. Oh, that's a zero and a three. Zero and a three, that's a successful int test. Which means, let's use red for that. We, we get a, okay, let's put that on there. If you roll a crit, which is, uh, I think it's 10 or less, or less than 10, 10 or less, when you're doing a test for any of these characteristics or a test for a skill, you get a pip onto uh, this line and then when it reaches the arrow you get special ability on this one and um, if this star is highlighted you get double the number of xp so you get two pips um, I think that's how it works um, and then same for these yeah same for those I, I do need to read a little bit more. I really literally skimmed through the rules and I was like, oh, this is good, amazing. And I played it yesterday and I was like, oh, this is amazing. I probably got some rules wrong. Whatever. Um, drop the comments in below if I do get that wrong. Anyway, I succeeded. So that's another minus, so 56, that's another six fuel. Ooh. Another minus six fuel. So that brings us down to 18. And that's another minus one power, so 23 power. All right, there we go. All right, so we reached, we reached the system, system, system. All right, was it page, uh, just a moment. Seventy-two, page 72. Page 72, let's go to page 72. Okay, right. When you reach uh, the entry point, zone one. So whenever you reach, whenever you travel between systems, um, you always arrive in zone one. So I, I assume, like in video games, you, you hyperdrive or you jump to the star and then from the star, you uh, make your way towards the planets or the space stations or whatever. So right now we're at the star and we're looking for, we want to go to, zone one, reach zone one, fly into zone two where you begin the port phase. Okay, we need to fly to zone two. Right, let me just move the spaceship because I can. Right, we're in. Art means, and we want to go to zone two. Let's go to page 20. I'm guessing now I'm starting to get familiar with it. There it is. Moving within a star system, starships use their hyper jump to move between systems, which we just did, and their space crews to move between zones. Each system has an entry point one, and this is where a spaceship will end up after they have performed a hyper jump they then use their space crews to move between the various zones where they can interact with points of interest poi between you and me there are 10 zones for each system sorry there are 10 zones for each system and some of them may include a poi point of interest 
these zones are numbered from one to ten yeah clever that yeah this this is such a good system when a ship ends its hyper jump in its uh, when it, yeah, when a ship ends its hyper jump it is in zone one which is where we are now the captain must activate the ship space cruise and perform the space cruise test another test below in order to move from zone one to two captain may then interact with any poi in zone two or activate the space cruise again to move either back to zone one or to zone three so you start at zone one and every zone you move you have to move one at a time so one to two two to three three to four or backwards and you have to take a test every time all right let's try it uh intelligence again so plus 35 so what was it 80 what was it 80? uh 45 plus 35 80 yeah 80 uh Yeah, let's do it. Right, red and blue again. Right, last time I, I pressed the R button, which is roll, and it it rolled them, but it didn't roll them very well. And that might be why I got a crit, so I'm going to roll them properly, scatter them across the table. Right, red and blue. <laughs> yeah, that's where I failed. 97, fail, massive failure, massive failure. Um. Minus one power level stay in zone. Right, I haven't like woom 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 like in uh, Star Wars. Woom 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 woom. Or when you're starting up your four Cortina. Just trying to start your four Cortina. There we go. Let's try again. Yeah, I, I'm not going to be rolling them like this every time because if I start having stuff on the board, they it's a physics engine they start knocking everything all over the place so uh right what am i doing that's 28 28 that's a huge success huge success um minus one power level move to adjacent zone yeah okay so it's just just minus one power whether you succeed or fail and you just move or you don't move Nice and simple, there we go. Right, so we're in zone two now, and we've got to do the port phase, which is find it, find it, find it. It's not there. Right, uh, just a second. I can uh, zoom to it. In my PDF, and then I'll know the page number 31. Right, page 31. Good. Right, port phase. Port phase. Whenever the captain starship has reached a zone containing a space station or military dock, this is a space station, I believe. They may decide to dock. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. When this occurs, the port phase has begun, and the following options are available for the captain to use. It is free to dock at military bases, which is where we came from, but there is a 50 credit docking fee that must be paid when docking at a space station, which is where we are now. 50. Hey, right, let me just check that it is a space station. It is, though, that cog. I believe means a space station. Yeah. So minus fifty. There we go. Let's delete that. Boom. Minus fifty creds. Uh, just a dock. Yeah. Just a dock. And it's insane. Docking fees are nuts. The options may be performed in any order and may be repeated any number of times and as stated otherwise in addition not all operations options even are available at both space station and military base check your icons so we're looking for the cog icons that's what we can do here um right first thing i'll do is complete the mission or 
this was it 72 72 let's go 72 again just want to check what does it say exactly exactly um fighter zone 2 where you will be begin the port phase during the port phase all you need to do is sell the 25 tons of weapons for 80 credits each to complete the mission right although weapons are red goods you do not make an illegal activities test on this occasion luckily uh, a contact uh, of Findar will meet you after the deal has gone down and collect half the credits. The remaining amount is the reward. While trying to reach Lunis Station, you may need to initiate the Starship's power gener generators if you're running our power, which we're, we're there already. When the mission is completed, remove it from your active operations and check its box. Uh, and then continue to right. So I'm gonna. I will complete the mission. So I will get a thousand, thousand credits. Where are you? Thousand. Right. Let's have two five hundreds, just for ease. There we go. Thousand. Boom. And I will take the weapons off the card. Goodbye weapons. All job done. And let's just write on there as well. Uh, M1 to 2. Complete. So I know when I fire this up again. Maybe this afternoon, a little bit later, yeah? Because, oh... It makes it makes me turgid to play this Ooh. right um then I, i'll update all the uh, character sheet later um what else we gotta do oh yeah we want to get uh, fuel and stuff like that so let's go back to the full phase what page was that 31 maybe yes there we go boom Right, we don't want the trade hole yet. We need to refuel and then think about buying stuff. Um, shipyard. Right. <laughs> Whilst at the shipyard, the captain may also refuel the starship's fuel tanks for 10 credits per one point of fuel. And 10 credits per one unit of power. So let's fully restore everything. Um, there we are. So we want fuel back up to fuel back up to 30. 30. Fuel back. That's, so that's a hundred. That's a 12. That's 120. It's 160 credits to get fuel up to max. So 160, let's do that, 160. Uh, so 160, that is one, two, three. Ooh, I need to secure those into place. Okay, 160. Oh, I've got 300 there, haven't I? 160. Uh, uh, one, two, three, four. There we go. Put the tens together. Together. Put the 500 back in there. There we go. Yes, yes. You, you might be thinking, well, why don't I just use pen and paper and, and record it with my iPhone? Uh, four cats. Um, I, I can do it. I can play it on the dinner table, colouring in the, the, the edges and stuff like that. And every time a cat jumps onto the table and starts attacking my apparatus, my paraphernalia, I can scoop it up and put it in my pocket. 
That's why I love this game. However, for your viewing pleasure, um, it's to, it's just a little bit easy like this, right? Um, and I, you know, yeah. If I didn't have cats, I would be using the actual, the real physical plastic credit chips that I have in my closet. But uh, alas, well, until my cats get a little bit older, or that that one in particular, um, then uh, nah. Anyway, well, sorry. Talking out my yin yang again. There we go. There we go. Nice. Oh, that was uh, mission one, and it was just a tutorial about uh, flying space, flying in space between systems and within systems. And then the next mission, uh, there'll be a bit more flying between and in in systems. And uh, some other stuff as well. Um, actually, no. Before we move on, now, now, while we're at the space station, let me do that, just so I know where we are. So, <laughs> again, I, you're probably thinking, "What's he doing? What's he doing?" I could just write on a bit of paper where I am and uh, record it. Yeah, I could. Anyway, let's do some uh, trade. Trading. Um, supplies, no. Trade halls. Cybercon, no. Captain may sell any number of items that have a credit value. We don't have anything. Um, Larger small equipment packs, armor and weapons. Okay, the captain may also search the trade halls for items to buy. The player may roll a number of times equal to the captain's rep value on tables marked with a cog. So that's armor, T A T B T C and W. Let's get some armor. Armor's good. Yeah, we got a weapon. The weapon seems to be all right. I, I haven't used it, but uh, let's get some armor because we've got empty slots. So let's do it. Armor. Armor, armor. So what have, how much have we got? How much have we got? 90, 490. Not much. All right, armor. Um, let's find it. There we go, right there. So D100. Uh, and it depends what the reputation is for. So we can roll four times. So let's let's roll once. It's red and blue, of course, as usual. So 12. Oh, it's a weapon slot, energy shield. Can buy that for 100 credits. That's not much, is it? Although I can't use it. Ah, screw it. That's, no. That's uh, 46. It's a weapon. Energy shield again. I've got a two-handed weapon though, so I can't use it. This is the third roll, and it's uh, 17. All right, vitals, yeah. Kicked in the dice bags. 100 credits, we can do that. It's a Kevlar plus Vitgard. Let's write that down. I'll write it on there and then. Sorry, I'm leaning over my cat, cat number one. Um, armor, vitals, 
That's actually not this. Let me reference it. Um, so it's A17, wasn't it? I rolled. Yeah, rolled 17. So it'll be A16. A16. Or A16. A16. Uh, vitals. What is it? Oh, I think my glasses on. Kevlar plus Vitgard. Vitgard. Kevlar plus Vitgard. Um, sure. And it's uh, A1, 100 credits, fixed cost 20. So armor one. Uh, 100 credits, fix 20 credits. So it's 20 credits to fix it. It costs 100 credits to buy, which we'll buy right now. It's 100 credits. Whee! There you go. Nice. So we've got helmet. We've got both helmets protected. Funny man. Um, was that the third roll? I, I've lost track. Yeah, so let's, let's say that was it. Now, let's do one more. I think, now we did two energy shields. The third one was Vic. Uh, Vic. Let's see what else we get. Because we've still got some money. Let's see what else we got. Looks like 50. 50. Dead on 50, right. Dead on 50. Vitals again. A2, 200 credits. <laughs> 200 credits. I just bought one, so no, screw it. I, I could have rolled them all. What I should have done. What I should have done is rolled them, put a little marker, which, you know, one of these little cubes on there. Like that. Let's do that. And then made a decision. Yeah, that that would have been smart. So what, what did I get? Because I'm gonna buy I'm gonna buy this instead. Yeah, so spend another hundred and just change the stats of that. There we go. So what do we get? Was it uh, A fifty? A fifty. Plus plate to Vitgard. A fifty seven. Not Kevlar plus plus plate plus plate Vitgard Vitgard is two words. So never never get that wrong. Yeah. And that's a two. It's two hundred. Yeah, this isn't ideal either. To be honest, this uh, text thing and it's forty. I think it's, it's all double, right? Uh, let me just check it is 40. Yeah, okay, got that all in there. Nice, nice, right? Uh, so that was it for shopping. That was it for shopping, and that's it for mission one. Um, yeah, if I made any mistakes, if I made any mistakes, put, put them down in the comments below. I am freaking loving this game. I, I'm already chomping at the bit to get the other books if there are any other books forthcoming for this. I'm also thinking about getting, um, what's it, uh, D100 Dungeon. Um, although I'm not, you know, fantasy um, doesn't really float my boat as much as this does at the moment. I might uh, hold off, but uh, even so, this is freaking awesome. Coming back at you with Mission 2 soon. Bye.